truth is, is all the credit goes to all the entrepreneurs and everybody's uh, been a role and a process in making this happen. And I want to congratulate Caleb and all the ideas that went into this uh, effort. And it, I want to make kind of two points that I think are relevant uh, to today's announcement and how they fit into an overall uh, strategy for manufacturing. First, manufacturing is a part of the Chicago economy. It's the fourth largest um, piece of the economy when you look at professional services, healthcare, transportation, distribution, logistics. Manufacturing is a key element and continues to be a key element of our strategy. And when we convene uh, both Brookings Institute as well as McKinsey to do an economic study dating back five years ago in the city of Chicago, while Chicago had lost manufacturing jobs, it had done very, very well when you compare it to the country in advanced manufacturing. So part of that whole strategy uh, and the component uh, of that effort was to ensure, first and foremost, we went after the national lab. So Chicago now is the center for the United States in uh, the national lab on digital manufacturing. Second, in our conversion of our community colleges, uh, Richard J. Daly is a school for advanced manufacturing. We just announced a couple uh, months ago we'll be building a new modern facility for the most innovative effort as it relates to uh, manufacturing and training a workforce. So while manufacturing is different today than it was 20 years ago in your mind's eye, putting both brains and brawn together. Third is the element of making sure that our areas and spaces where manufacturing happens are being invested in from a basic infrastructure standpoint. Roads and access, it's not an accident, although this is not manufacturing in the industrial space, that Whole Foods moved their uh, in, uh, Midwest distribution center away from, uh, away from meaning out of Indiana to the city of Chicago. It's a just down the road from Olive Harvey, the School of Transportation, Distribution, Logistics, and it's access to Bishop Highway, which allows it to distribute to the states in the surrounding area. This innovation space is the final piece of the manufacturing puzzle. So you go from uh, R&D to talent development at Richard J. Daly to the in zones that are clearly going to be invested from the city of Chicago in our growth zone strategy, and now an innovation space. So the innovators and the entrepreneurs we just met in manufacturing have a place working together, working on their product where they can take risks without feeling like they were gonna financially fail in a way that they cannot stand up their company. And so from all those components now, what is borrowed in the uh, kind of new economy term, the entire ecosystem now is put in place in the city of Chicago. And I know this, that if another city was doing this, we'd all be saying, why don't we do that? Well, it's happening right here in the city of Chicago. While we are clearly the most diversified economy in the United States and the second most competitive economy in North America, the future of Chicago is not one part, meaning finances like it is for uh, New York, or entertainment like it is for uh, uh, Los Angeles. Chicago is the most diversified economy. No sector is great, produces greater than 13% of our employment. So whether it's professional services, healthcare, transportation and distribution, logistics, manufacturing, when you, IT, when you look at all the spaces, our strength is our diversity, which means we have to invest in that diversity, which is why it was so important to get in a national lab, why it's so important to get this innovation space, M-Hub in manufacturing up and running, why it's so important to modernize Richard J. Daly, so there's a steady flow of highly skilled, highly capable talent here in the city of Chicago, and why with the new growth zone strategy, we'll be investing in those industrial areas. And so from the diversity to making sure that all the basic building blocks of a vibrant manufacturing economy continue to exist in the city of Chicago. And then ultimately is just the idea of innovation spaces. Five years ago, the city of Chicago was at zero, and that's not unusual for other cities. We have 1871 now, which is a leader in the country. We have matter as it relates to healthcare. 2112 as it relates to music and entertainment, and now we have one in manufacturing. And these innovation spaces, given what's happening today in corporate entities where they cannot do the type of R&D, they want to be on the early stages in the basement, I would say, not just the first floor, where new innovations are happening, where they can then invest in those companies and then make them part of the overall effort. 
that entire effort, so from 1871 in the kind of the, what I would say, software area and new economy, to matter in healthcare, to 2112 as it relates also in uh, music and entertainment, and now MHUB, each of those innovation spaces allows the diversity of the Chicago economy to stay always at the cutting edge and have entrepreneurs who come from some major companies, medium-sized companies, to take their idea and become the next great entrepreneur. And these opportunities that these innovation spaces keeps Chicago's economy not only on the cutting edge as a center for innovation, where when you meet all the uh, folks that I just met, Ohio, Purdue, Northern Illinois, they come from around the Midwest, they come with their ideas, their backgrounds, and then split off and start their own company. And this allows Chicago to always uh, be reinventing itself and being at the forefront, which is why it continues to be the number one city. Hey, Walter, timing's everything, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> you know, usually, I was with Walter, sorry, usually Walter introduces me, now I get the distinct, no, I'm still you're, you're okay, don't worry about it, don't worry about it. Well, the Surgeon General was in my Oh, okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> You still get you get a pass. Don't worry about it, Walter. <laughs> anyway, uh, on a serious note, this is a key part of the strategy, and I want to uh, congratulate everybody that's been playing a role and making sure that Chicago stays on the front edge of innovation, entrepreneurship, and today on manufacturing. Congratulations to all of you.